So originally uh, we set the crane at about 130 feet tall uh, for operator control ability because we were going so deep into the earth. Uh, we didn't want any more stick than we, than we could control. Uh, we're going to reset it for our project to its maximum height of 190 feet and that should give us enough height to finish off the 11 story tower. The scope of this building required a tower crane from the beginning. We knew that. And we knew we were going to need some tremendous reach, and we knew we were going to need some tremendous height, and we knew that it was going to need to be jacked. Jacking the crane consists of raising the crane up section by section until you get it to the desired height so we can continue to serve the building. Well, the first thing that happens on the morning of the jack is we have to install the climbing section. It's heavy and uh, powerful. It's got a big cylinder, hydraulic pump, and what it does is, is it, it raises the entire crane up so that we can fit our next tower section in. The jacking section comes in two pieces and it, it wraps around the tower and then bolts together and then acts as one unit. We had some heavy rain, we had some high winds, one terrible gust that came out of nowhere. That was cause for concern, but we made it through it. Each tower section of a Potane 485 crane is about 16 feet tall, so the hydraulic cylinder jacks the crane up about one foot per minute. Ready? Coming in. Oh. Each section takes about 45 minutes total to get in place, have the installation pins hammered in, and then jacked up to get ready for the next section. Nice job with that, by the way. It, it was fantastic to see all the Rockwood residents come out and check, check out what was going on and uh, see what was happening with their, their new building. There were a lot of expectations that I had throughout the last year as far as the day that we were going to jack. It went as well as it possibly could. Before we jacked the crane, I could not see downtown Spokane. And about three tower sections up, suddenly there it was, just crystal clear, all the tall buildings of town, and, and I knew I was going to have a great view for the rest of the job. Buildings of this size and complexity come out of the ground successfully because of one thing, and that's teamwork. It takes hundreds of talented people each and every day working their hardest and we have those people. We have them in our crew, we have them in our subcontractor base, and some of the industry's best have been on this job.